All right, so this is a VGC 2020 monotype event. And so each person in the tournament has their own monotype and there we're, in, we're not like too many people where each person can have their own unique type. Uh, so this video, it's me, where I use Mono Ghost the entire tournament, and human person who used Mono Water. Now this tournament already happened, so I'm retroactively commentating and kind of providing some rationale behind uh, some of my decisions. So now we're on team preview, and when I look at my team compared to this team, I generally think that I'm going to be going for Trick Room here because most of his Pokemon are really fast. Um, especially Seismitoad and... Um, Se Seismitoad is fast because of Swift Swim. Barrascuta and Italian are all really fast. Um, I Pelipper's not super fast. It's like base 70, but I don't think Pelipper's really going to be human's main sweeper. Crowdon is probably the most scary Pokemon on this team because at the time I thought it was base 70, but then I looked it up and I found out it was base 55, so it's actually pretty slow. And then... Um, also, I think Barrascuta is a pretty big threat, even though it is, um, even though it is fast, it's still a big threat. Um, especially if it has Propeller Tail, that'd be really bad. So, because I have Ally Switch. So I decided to go the Trick Room route this game, and the problem is I found out that I don't actually have Trick Room on my Dusclops, and I found that out game my first set. So I have to set Trick Room with Mimikyu, and so I decided to lead Mimikyu Dragapult as a way to kind of set Trick Room. It, it's kind of a bait, because when most people would see the Dragapult Mimikili, they would not expect Trick Room. But this is what I have to do, because I don't have those clubs to be able to do this properly. So, without further ado, here we go. So anyway, uh, I see this lead, and I kind of feel like... In my mind, I was... I don't really know. I was just kind of like, well... I don't- I think I can just safely set up Trick Room here. I didn't see any threat on the field that would be able to take out Mimikyu. Now, in hindsight, uh, the, um, share on the, uh, the, the Crowdon is actually slower, uh, than the, uh, Pelipper, so he could attack and break Disguise with Pelipper and then hit with Crowdon, and that would probably kill Mimikyu. I don't even know if it would need a super effective attack. A Crowdon is just a very strong Pokemon, but this game I don't really see- um, I don't really see a threat to Mimikyu, so I just go for Raw Trick Room. Uh, I just go for Raw Trick Room and Phantom Force, because I mentioned before that Phantom Force works really weird in Trick Room, and it kind of is actually, like, low-key it's a little bit good, because, uh, they won't be able to hit Dragapult this next turn. Uh, so my opponent actually goes and sets up Tailwind, so clearly they're not expecting a Trick Room lead out of this, which I don't blame them because, like, I'm using Dragapult and I'm using Trick Room Dragapult, but admittedly, Trick Room Dragapult's been kind of carrying me this tournament because people are not expecting it. So I decided to swap out into Dusclops because I feel like Dusclops is a better switch in, and um, I don't really want to because what's going to happen is, right, uh, they're going to double target my Mimikyu because they can't hit Dragapult. At least that's my philosophy behind this. So I don't want them to do that. So that's why I switched into Dusclops. I'd rather them double target Dusclops instead. And Dusclops might not survive, but it doesn't... I, I don't find Dusclops to be super useful anyway. So Human withdraws uh, the the crowd on here. Uh, and it, interestingly... Yeah, so the interesting part is that Tailwind actually makes my Dragapult slower, so Phantom Force doesn't quite work the same way that it usually does when you use Trick Room. It usually lets you be uh, invincible for the rest of the first turn, but because he set up Tailwind, um, that actually wasn't the case. Uh, Dragapult wasn't able to go last, so it didn't really work that way. So uh, my opponent decides to switch out into Inteleon I, admittedly, I'm a bit confused by this decision because I believe under Tailwind, I believe Crowdon is still slower than uh, than Dragapult under Tailwind, but probably not Mimikyu. So I guess he didn't want Crowdon to die to die to Mimikyu, which would maybe make sense. But Dragapult is still um, is still faster than Crowdon under, under Tailwind. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so they go for the protect on the Pelipper. 
Probably to stall Trick Room turns. Uh, you know, I, I can't blame him. It, it's a hard life. But because I have Dragon Darts, um, it goes through Protect. I don't really have to make a prediction here. I just kind of use it. And, uh, it, you know, double hits it. So he goes for a max Hailstorm on my Dragapult, which Dragapult's definitely a stronger threat. Uh, but at the same time, I kind of want him to knock out my Dragapult, because Dragapult's not amazing in this Trick Room situation, and I don't really feel comfortable Dynamaxing it here. It's funny, because he procs the weakness policy, because max Hailstorm doesn't kill. But with the hail, it will kill. So I'm actually kind of glad that Dragapult's out, because then I can bring in my real Trick Room Sweeper, and it allows me to get more turns with my Trick Room Sweeper. Um, mm, which is going to be Delmize. So I'm going to bring Delmize out now. And I feel Delmize is really good against Mono Water, because hello, it's a Grass Anchor. But, of course, he did reveal he has Hailstorm, and there's a lot of Dark-type coverage on this team potentially as well, so I still have to be careful. Now, yeah, I'm a bit torn as to who to go into, because I know that Peely has, um... Peely has Hurricane, and he did just use his Protect, so he he uh, he has to take the hit. But I decide to Overgrowth into the Inteleon, because I'm pretty sure it'll kill from this range. Inteleon's very frail, even though it isn't Dynamax, especially with all that HP it already took. Um, and I do know that Nightshade will actually kill Peely from this range, and I imagine that the hail, the hail damage might have actually put him in Nightshade kill range. I wasn't sure if he was in Nightshade kill range before. I don't use Dusclops that much, so I'm actually not sure if he was before. I think the hail damage might have for sure put him in Nightshade kill range. So, I, I know that Nightshade will kill Peely from here, so I decided to just go into the Inteleon. I mean, even if he max guards, I didn't really have a better play anyway, so, um, I wouldn't blame him if he decided to max guard here, because he doesn't have speed advantage. Um, but, you know, I didn't really have a, a better play. The better play, I guess, I could have just maybe used Grassy Glide, but, you know, I'm not super confident that it would have killed, and I really need to make the most of these Trick Room turns, and if it didn't kill... Uh, then, then, you know, I'd have to eat a max hailstorm, which I don't really want to do that. Uh, I need Delmize to win this game, to be quite frank. So, um, yeah, so he goes with, uh, G-Max, yeah, G-Max and Teleon. If I were my opponent, it's, it's hard because his team's very fast. It's hard to play around it. I would maybe kept Crowdon out, um, because even Crowdon under Tailwind is still quite slow. Um... Compared to, you know, my my Dragapult. But at the same time, I can understand saving it. Because Crowdon is a big threat to my team. And it's probably the biggest threat to my team that my opponent has. So, my opponent does have the Tailwind Peter out. But it doesn't really matter. Because both of these Pokemon on the field right now are slower than anything else that they have. So, they go for Crowdon. And they also go for Barrascuta. And now, seeing that they have Barrascuta... Uh, it's, this is actually kind of a hard decision as far as who I want to target, because both of these Pokemon, I feel, are just gonna, if I leave one of them unchecked, I feel like the other one's just gonna, gonna wreak havoc on my team. So, remembering I also, remembering that I have Mimikyu in the back, though, that kind of changes the way I play this, because... Um, if remembering I have Mimikyu, uh, Barrascuta, once Trick Room's over, Barrascuta's gonna be faster, and Crowdon is gonna be slower. I'd rather have the speed advantage, so this is why I go for Barrascuta here, because I think, um, you know, it'll be more helpful here, and also I get to kind of see its item. I get to see if it's sashed, um, and if it's sashed, the hail damage will kill it anyway. So I think this is a good play to go for Barrascuta, because I just feel late game it's more threatening than, um, then crowd on because of the speed advantage. So there's nothing wrong with me throwing a little nightshade in here with Dusclops. Uh, you know, nightshade doesn't do a ton of damage in, in, um, in all honesty, but it's like 50 damage every turn, and most things at least get four hit KO'd by it. So each turn Dusclops gets to do it, I just get a little closer to my win condition. So he doesn't use protect. Um, so he doesn't use protect on his Barrascuta, and his Barrascuta doesn't actually. Um, have a sash, so it just dies. So I get the knockoff, and it does crit my Dusclops for the kill. I actually don't know if the crit mattered. I don't think it did. Even if it did survive, the hail damage I think would have killed it. So I don't think it really mattered there, but it's still just like, yeah, Clops baby just got got destroyed. So now my Trick Room is over, and 
I'm really proud of this game because I timed my Trick Room turns really well. I had Dusclops out on the field and uh, Dalmai's out on the field when Trick Room was up. And as soon as Trick was, Room was over, I got Mimikyu out on the field. So now I have speed advantage with Mimikyu. And I have, um, like, a slow Pokemon and Delmai. So he's kind of sandwiched in terms of speed. So, yeah. I was just proud of saving Mimikyu till the end and, and being able to send it out immediately once Trick Room was over. And I timed my Trick Room turns for well. So, overall, I think that game uh, worked pretty well for me. Um, I just kind of used Trick Room and used my slow Pokemon to do... A lot, so much offensive pressure that my opponent didn't really have a great answer to it. And it was really kind of not in my opponent's favor to set up Tailwind turn one. I can see why he did it, because uh, I had Dragapult lead uh, and Mimikyu lead, and both Pokemon are fast, so it would make sense for me to set up Trick Room there, but still, it, it's a little bit of a commitment to make that play that early in the game without really knowing my game plan. And especially knowing that I do have a lot of slow Pokemon on my team, and I also do have... Um, I also do have, um, a Trick Room setter, Pokemon that is capable of learning Trick Room, which is quite possible my opponent doesn't, didn't know that, um, that, uh, Mimikyu can learn Trick Room, but still. So I think now that my opponent sees my plan of how I like to play this matchup, they're probably going to want to shut down Trick Room. So they're probably not going to let me set up Trick Room again easily, I don't think, because they understand that their win condition at this point is to prevent me from setting up Trick Room. So, um, because if they do that, actually they probably will win this game if they are able to prevent me from setting up Trick Room, because their team is very powerful and very offensive, and it's also very fast, and I don't... And my Ghost team doesn't have a great answer to it. So I think that... Um, if they can prevent me from setting up Trick Room, I think uh, they actually could win the game. And so I, my goal is I need to actually um, I actually need to set up Trick Room myself. So again, I don't have my Dust Claps to do this. Um, and I think if I did bring Dust Claps, I don't think it would really change much here. Um, the, the, because basically whatever Trick Room setter I'm going to bring out is going to be the one that they're going to have to try and take down. I could maybe lead Dusclops Mimikyu to try and bait out Dusclops using Trick Room, but actually a Mimikyu using Trick Room. But I just decided to go with the same leads again and uh, kind of see how it goes. I think I can I can make this work, especially since it's a bit ambiguous. Now, I noticed I kind of picked my Mons and I kind of let the timer stall a little bit uh, just to give myself a bit of a breather between matches. Um, and since I'm basically using the same strategy, I am allowing myself to kind of take that extra time to get some breathing in before the uh, next match begins. So I'm really interested to see how my opponent is going to tackle the Trick Room situation because definitely last game, you know, that's that's actually how they lost. And I think they know that. I, don't, I think my opponent is smart enough to know that, okay, I need to stop Trick Room from being set up. So now my opponent leads Crowdon and Talion, and I know that both of these Pokemon are very strong. So uh, I know that if they double in on Mimikyu, they could easily kill Mimikyu. And I think at this point they would double into Mimikyu this turn because they recognize what happened the last game. So my thought process is they're probably going to double into Mimikyu because they want to stop Trick Room. Now, my Dragapult, I did not re reveal Ally Switch on my Dragapult in game one. So my opponent, to my knowledge, does not know I'm running Ally Switch on my Dragapult. So my thought process is they're going to probably try and double into Mimikyu, because that's the threat, right? Because they don't want Trick Room to go up no matter what. So I have two options. I could either Dynamax, you know, Dragapult and go with that, but that's actually not what I want. I want to set up Trick Room, so that's why I'm going to use Ally Switch. Um, I'm going to go for the Ally Switch Trick Room play. It's a little cheesy. In a best of one, it definitely works better in a best of one. But since I won game one, I'm up on the advantage. I feel like it's okay to reveal it at this point. Because I really feel confident that if I'm able to set this Trick Room, I'm able to win the game. So, basically this. Now, he, he G-Maxes his Inteleon, which I am not expecting this in my in my head. I'm like, I don't know why he would G-Max Inteleon here. Because, like, I'm trying to set up Trick Room. It's just a very risky play, I feel like. And it's a lot of commitment for the first turn. Um, so I ally switch, and like I said, I was very confused by the G-Max here, but he does G-Max Hydro Snipe into Dragapult, and so, and then he Crab Hammers 
Dragapult as well. So I was right, he actually did double into Mimikyu like I had predicted because I used Ally Switch. So because he doubled into Mimikyu this time, I was able to actually set up Trick Room because I used Ally Switch. Now, the one thing to kind of note about this is that the G-Max Inteleon actually goes through Disguise because its ability, or I'm sorry, its G-Max move is like Mold Breaker. So it actually goes through Disguise, and I didn't know this at the time when I was playing this. That's why I was confused by the G-Max, but it actually makes a lot of sense why he went for the G-Max because it would definitely, it would probably just one-shot Mimikyu and he wouldn't even have to hit it twice. Um, but he did hit it twice for good measure, just to be safe. So I, I respect it. That's why he did the G-Max. It didn't make sense at the time when I was playing, but then retroactively I was like, I found that out later and I was like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense why he did that. It's still a little bit of a commitment, but I can completely understand why my opponent decided to do that. So now I have Anchor Baby. Now this, this Pokemon's kind of my ace in the hole in this matchup because I feel like it can super effective damage absolutely everything on the field that a uh, human person can bring out. I don't think his team had Ludicolo, so, um, but, it, but Ludicolo is very physically weak anyway, so um, physically defensive weak. So I guess I'm going to go to for, um, this is kind of an interesting situation I'm in with Mimikyu because um, Mimikyu is actually slower than, uh, Mimikyu is actually faster than Crowdon. My opponent didn't set up Tailwind this time, so Mimikyu is actually faster than Crowdon. Um, I could switch out to Dusclops here, and I really did think of that, but then I was kind of like, well, I actually don't know why I didn't switch out to Dusclops. I probably should have just switched out to Dusclops. But um, I was thinking that the Crowdon is a pretty big threat on the field, and I thought that if I could hit it with Player Off, it would definitely help. So I hit Machance with Grassy Terrain, um, and yeah, uh, and so Crowdon might have been a better target here just because Mimikyu is slower, but at the same time, Mimikyu couldn't hit Inteleon with super effective damage, so... Uh, I guess it was the best way of doing this. Now, this is kind of interesting. So, he goes for a knockoff, and it's a crit, and it one-shots my Dynamax, <laughs> my Dynamax, um, Delmize, which is really, really surprising to me. That actually surprised me. I didn't think that would be a one-shot. Um, and that's, that, that kind of got me shook. That got me shook. I thought it would do a lot of damage, but I didn't think it would kill. So I'm actually glad that I didn't switch in Dusclops here because I was able to get the kill with Mimikyu on Crowdon, and that's actually critical because Crowdon is probably the scariest Pokemon on this team that, for my team personally, because it's a dark type. Uh, so now he sends out Barrascuta, and now he sends out um, now he he so he has Pelipper and he has Barrascuta. So I know that I now know that the Barrascuta has a Choice Band, and I now know that the Pelipper has Drizzle. Um, okay, so I have to figure out how to make this work. Um, so Pelipper is... Pelipper is slower than Mimikyu, but Barrascuta is faster than Mimikyu. Since I know that the Mimikyu... Or sorry, since I know that the Barrascuta is choice banned, I know that it can't protect. And to my knowledge, Pelipper can't learn ally switch. So basically, I can double in safely in the Barrascuta. And I personally see the Barrascuta as a bigger threat right now because that Pokemon's very strong. And if I let it uh, hit, hit me, you know, after Trick Room's over, I could just lose the game if I don't take care of it now. And now's the time to take care of it. So I double into it with Play Rough and Nightshade. And I'm really lucky with these Play Roughs because I keep, every time I use Play Rough, I always have to be like, oh, please don't miss, please don't miss, please don't miss. And I got really lucky that none of them missed. Because if I had missed any of these Play Roughs, I probably would have lost the game, to be completely honest. Um... So now I just have Pelipper, Dusclops versus Mimikyu, and so I feel pretty confident at this rate that I can still win this. Um, you know, the the problem here is that Mimikyu has the speed disadvantage, and uh, Clops Baby has the speed advantage. So Mimikyu is my offensive Pokemon. So what I decided to do here is I decided to Pain Split, because I know it's Focus Sash, so I decided to just get some health back myself, and then I decided to Sword Stance. My thought process here is that even if he decides to break Disguise, off of Mimikyu, um, he can't hit me. He can't actually hit the real Mimikyu. He can only break Disguise. So at the very worst, he'll pop my Disguise, and then I'll have a strong Shadow Sneak. And since I don't have speed advantage right now with Mimikyu, it's the way I can attack um, Pelipper without having to um, go last. And then uh, combined with Nightshade, I feel like it's just going to be a lot of off offensive pressure. But he doesn't target Mimikyu. 
So that means that Mimikyu can still attack and also has the plus two and this guy isn't busted. So I go for Shadow Sneak for my last Trick Room turn. And here that human person forfeits because I don't think there's a way for him to be able to take out Dusclops and Mimikyu at this point. 